I'm a mean old dinosaur, big and tall. Um, I think it's really important to reach this age because this is the start of their educational career. You know, I think those first five years are really important and just to continue to be excited. And obviously with this age group, it's got to be a lot of hands-on, getting up and about and being active with their learning. I'm fi about five and a half feet tall, and I'm much smaller than a Triceratops. I think once they hear about things here, maybe they'll go home and want to watch documentaries or just keep furthering their understanding of dinosaurs and beyond, and hopefully in their later grades that science is still going to be hands-on, you know, so that depends on in high school and middle school if the science classes are still hands-on. I think this is a great beginning. Me. You guys, you four? And so you guys can start counting out with the parents. The Earth goes around the sun. The Earth goes around the sun. Once a year, every year, the Earth goes around the sun. I think it's very um, important for children to have this learning uh, in order to foster the interest in future explorations. He's interested in the planets now. He got interested in the, the brain and the skull and the skeleton and the, I'm trying to remember what the other, oh, and the magnets. They did a, a one on magnets, which is wonderful, the different poles. We have little magnets at home that they play with, and, they, and they're interested in that. I am very grateful for this program. Yes, I'm very grateful. So look at the sun. It's bright, shining. There's the earth. What is it doing? It's spinning around itself. How long does it take for it to do this? One day. One day. Really good. How long does it take for the moon to go around the earth? One month. One month. And how long does it take for the earth to go around the sun? One, one year. One year. So you guys, we're actually going to start in the middle. 